10% body fat is pretty much the ideal body fat percentage to be at. You will look very attractive, have six pack abs, but still get great pumps in the gym and have great energy levels. Now I'm gonna go through the 10 habits that get you to 10% body fat very fast because these days everybody has a short attention span. But the good thing is if you actually implement these habits into your routine you will get to 10% body fat. And then I mean who cares if you have a short attention span, I mean near 10% body fat, that's the only thing that matters. Now right away starting with the first one which is tracking macros and calories in some way. I know many people watching are now gonna think oh I hate tracking calories, it takes so much time weighting all of your foods. Now with tracking macros and calories I actually don't even think you need to weight your foods, you just need to have some calorie awareness and maybe eyeball the foods that you're having. People who are at 10% body fats they have an idea of how many calories a meal has by just looking at it because they have been tracking for some while. This is why I can recommend you to maybe track your foods for a week or two and then if you have gained some awareness of how many calories certain foods have then you'll be able to just eyeball the food and then know if you're going overboard or too low with your calories. Then the second habit is that they're going for staple foods. This means they have certain foods they eat on a regular basis. Now if you take me as an example, my staple foods are vegetables and lean meat sources. These are two foods I know I can eat a lot of and not go overboard with my calories because vegetables are very low in calories and the lean protein satiates me for a long time and has the proteins that I need to be able to hit my protein target of about 200 grams of protein every day. So I also recommend you to look out for some foods that you enjoy eating, are macro friendly and then stack up on them in your fridge to eat them whenever you're feeling hungry. Great, then the third one is staying hydrated. Now the thing is, oftentimes we as humans we aren't even hungry, we are just thirsty and sadly many people who are having a bit too much fat on their body whenever they are thirsty they think they're hungry and they eat something. Now if you're someone who wants to be at 10% body fat then you can't be eating food when you're not hungry otherwise you'll be consuming too many calories. This is why staying hydrated is essential to know if you are actually hungry or if you're just dehydrated and your body needs some more water. And also in addition to managing your hunger levels by staying hydrated, it actually also helps you a lot with having a high metabolism if you're drinking enough water. And this definitely is another key to be able to burn more calories and then overall consume more food and still stay lean. Great, then the fourth habit is being active. We can do this in many different ways. Maybe you're someone who has a physical job, then this is pretty easy to achieve. Otherwise, if you're working at the office job, then you should still be active by for example getting 10k steps in every day. The problem with today's generation and the reason why so many people are overweight and even obese is because they are living a sedentary lifestyle. They are working a desk job and whenever they finish their work they get home and sit on the couch and don't move at all. And then of course you don't burn any calories, you're not using your body for what it's actually meant to be used for. This is why staying active definitely is an essential part if you want to stay at 10% body fat year round. Great, then moving on to the fifth habit which is prioritizing weights over cardio. Now I need to mention at this point that this isn't really a habit for the people who only want to stay at 10% body fat. This is more kind of a habit for people who want to look great at 10% body fat. Because you can be lean but if you aren't prioritizing weights you would just be skinny and not look good. But I think you're someone who also wants to look muscular and have a great physique that looks impressive when you're 
you're at 10% body fat. And then it's essential that we prioritize weights over cardio because weightlifting actually builds muscle. Cardio just burns calories and trains our endurance, but endurance runners don't look muscular or aesthetic. And this is definitely something that I don't want to be. That's why prioritizing weights is the way to go. Then the sixth habit is they're eating carbs. Now of course, there's some people out there who are crazy and they cut them out completely. They're following a keto or even carnivore diet. Now I'm not judging them, they should be doing what works for them. But generally saying, people who want to stay at 10% body fat, they eat all of the macronutrients. Otherwise, we will feel too restricted and this makes it really hard to sustain a low body fat percentage. Now still, most people who are at 10% body fat and are eating eating carbs, they're eating complex carbs instead of simple carbs, mainly because it's just way more filling to eat complex carbs and they satiate us for a longer time. I personally was able to get the leanest version of myself whilst eating carbs. I just got most of my carbs from vegetables and fruits because they're so filling, only have very little calories and oftentimes take a long time to be digested. So they keep me full and I don't start craving food again in comparison to when I would be eating some simple carbs. Then the seventh habit is that people who are 10% body fat year round they cook most of their foods. Of course, they occasionally also go to a restaurant or go out with their friends for food. This makes everything way more flexible and this is also how a sustainable diet should be. But still, generally saying, they're cooking most of their foods. Because when you're going to a restaurant, you have no idea what they put into their foods. They maybe put even sugar onto their meats just to make it taste better. Because a restaurant doesn't care about the macros you're getting in. They just want to make the food they're cooking taste great so that you go to this restaurant again. That's why we shouldn't rely on the restaurant cooking with good ingredients. We should just minimize the times we go out for food and cook most of the foods on our own because then we actually know what's in there. And in combination with the staple foods and the calorie awareness that we already have, it's almost impossible to not stay lean. That's why this is definitely another essential if you want to stay lean year round. Then the eighth habit is that people who are at 10% body fat, they prioritize sleep and on average get 8 hours of sleep. This has multiple reasons. One huge reason for it is because when we get enough sleep, our hunger hormones go down. This means we get less signal that we're actually hungry. And then of course also just crave less food, which helps us to consume the right calories and stay lean. But it doesn't stop there. The thing is, if you're sleep deprived, we're also more prone to cheat on our diet. We make worse decisions when we have less sleep. This is actually also not even only for our diet. I mean, if you only get 3 hours of sleep a night, you don't want to go to the gym. You don't want to eat chicken, rice and broccoli. You only want to stay home, sit on your sofa, watch Netflix and eat some chips. And these are definitely not habits of someone who is at 10% body fat and muscular. That's why prioritizing your sleep is very important for your goals. Then the ninth habit is that they delay gratification. People who are lean year round know that when they cheat on their diet and eat some fast food, they will regret it later on. That's why they switch it around. They now sacrifice the enjoyment of eating tasty food to then later be lean. And this is something which is very difficult to do because we as humans evolutionary scene aren't made for this. We are meant to be eating food right now so that when there's no food later then we still have enough fat which fuels us to stay alive. That's why it's actually very difficult to delay gratification. But still this is something that we will have to learn if you want to stay at 10% body fat. And I can tell you guys it's actually worth sacrificing the sweet stuff and junk food to then later on feel confident when you take off your shirt. Otherwise you will feel very insecure and not happy about the way you look. And this definitely feels worse than the 5 minutes of enjoyment when eating that fast food burger. Great, and now to finish off, the 10th habit is that people who are 10% body fat 
year round is that they implement healthy cheat meals. Now this has helped me personally tremendously with getting and staying at the low body fat percentage. You can actually even access to my free diet plan in which there's also a healthy cheat meal. More specifically, it's a healthy high protein low calorie ice cream, which definitely made the diet not even feel like a diet. So if you're interested to also follow the same plan that helped me to get to 10% body fat, then you can go down to the link in the description. You can download it there for free. All right, these are the 10 habits. I know this might have been a lot of information at the same time. That's why I recommend you to start applying those habits to your routine step by step. Don't right away implement all of them at the same time. This can be overwhelming and only make you cheat on your diet and fail on these habits way faster. It's better starting with small steps but then keep going because this is the sustainable way. And sustainability is the number one key for long term success and for staying at a low body fat percentage. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it a lot if you would like and subscribe. Then I'm able to make more videos like this. Then, thank you for watching till the end and I will see you in the next one.